photography is normally focusing on beautiful footage of the cars, sounds of the engines mixed with some emotional and dramatical music, but never any speech. In this video I have to make one exception. I have to dig deep inside my soul and tell you all about the relation between a man and his dream car. I guess that each and every one of us has that one ultimate dream car. Sure, we got our top 10 or top 5, but when somebody really asks you that if you would choose one car to own and only one car in the world, which one would it be? To me, it has always been the Audi RS4 B5 Avant, my only true love. The B5 stands for code of the first generation of the Audi A4 platform. This is the first generation of the Audi RS4 and it was produced between 2000 and 2001. This car has been my ultimate dream car since the day it was presented and I promised myself that one day I'm gonna own one. I remember when the first magazines tested it in 2000, it blew everything else away. The journalists couldn't understand how fast this estate car was. The only car that beat the RS4 Avant in a straight line back then was the Porsche 911 Turbo. It was so amazing to me that a beefed up family wagon could be so incredibly fast and leave everything that any other competitor brand at that time behind. Throughout the years I was following all the tests of the car and how well it aged and how unique and wanted it became. I started my B5 saga with buying a brand new A4 Turbo in 2001, which by the way I still have today and you have already seen it in many of my videos online throughout the years. The A4 was all I could afford back then while the RS4 remained a wet dream. Always when I saw one on the street I screamed like a little baby or I just had to stop and take a look at it. And finally, a few years ago I was lucky enough to find a very mint Nogara blue one and I didn't hesitate for one second before buying it. It really was the best buy I ever did and I have to pinch myself every time I lock the car and walk away that I own one. There is just something about the B5 RS4. With its super wide stance and huge wheel arches, it looks like it's been spending all its life in the gym lifting weights. I also love the wide side skirts, the front bumper with those huge air intakes and just look at that butt. I mean, I like big butts and I cannot lie. I am a big fan of the RS4 overall and it's B7, B8 and B9 generation, it's just my favorite RS model. They all look good but to me the B5 just has that timeless and never aging design. I mean just look at it, it's hard to find a more sleek and aggressive estate or a coupe or a sports car at all. I know that the B7 generation also got its huge fan base with its V8 growl and both sedan and Avant versions but to me personally it's just not as special as the B5. Well, I guess I'm just a sucker for that 2.7 B turbo engine because with the right exhaust and setup, it's the most beautiful engine sound in the world. Just listen. Just look at that engine bay, it's pure art. As some say, they don't make them like this anymore. I always wanted a Nogara blue one. Since the Audi RS2 Avant in the mid 90s, the color has been a very distinctive for unique Audi RS models. Speaking of the RS2, I like it a lot as well, but it's just not as sexy and wide as the RS4 B5, and a little bit too boxy for me. Well, back to the Nogara blue, and even today you can get a B9 RS4 Avant in Nogara blue. Therefore, I'm so glad that I found one, and also in such a mint condition. It was owned by a senior and you could see that he took care of the car very well. When he sold it to me, I told him that nobody would take care of the car like I would. What is special about the Nogara Blue Edition is also the interior. With its mix of carbon fiber, the blue Alcantara Recaro seats and parts of leather here and there, it just looks very unique. 
The car has also a vintage but cool multimedia and navigation system which was just so ahead of its time. Since I bought the car a few years ago I have only done some minor mods yet with keeping the look as stock as possible. The original 18 inch wheels had a good design and I liked them a lot but they looked way too small and could never fill out those huge and wide arches. It took me two years to find the perfect fitting wheels for this car and I couldn't be more happy with the ones that I got now. The car is sitting on H&R springs which is the perfect setup for my taste as it's just not too high and not too low. Other things worth to mention is the Miltec Sports resonated exhaust, Wagner downpipes and an open air filter. It has also a stage 1 ECU done by echo tuning. The car makes something around 460 horsepower and it's all that I want. It's incredibly fast and just sounds amazing. It's time to round up this Auditography special. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if you also have an ultimate dream car and which one that is, or maybe you already own one. As you see in my videos, I drive and test new Audis all the time from R8s to all RS models. I really love them all, but there is just nothing, absolutely nothing that puts as big smile on my face as when I get into my RS4 and drive away. To me, it's everything I want from a car and I cherish every single moment with it. It's not that I don't like today's Audi RS models, I do, I love them, but it feels like the RS4 B5 was so much ahead of its time and so insane and unexpected when it was made, it can't really be compared to today's mass production of the RS models that we all have huge expectations on. And therefore, the Audi RS4 B5 Avant feels so much more unique and special today. There's a special bond between a man and his car, and I hope that this video is another proof of that. Far ahead in the future you will see an old man that can hardly walk and see drive around in his RS4 B5, and that man will be me.